it's me Natalie. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I do my daily makeup look by using my favorite makeup product in simple steps and easy to follow. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm prepping my skin before starting to apply makeup to make sure that my skin is plump and hydrated so that the product will sit smoothly on the skin. I'm applying a Mugwort Toner by I'm From and Beta Glucan Moisturizer by Ionic. They are very gentle on my sensitive skin and provide enough hydration without being too heavy. I'm wearing a chemical sunscreen by Beauty of Joseon that sits beautifully under makeup without a white cast, causing peeling and flakiness. A little bit of a silicone-based makeup primer to make a clean canvas to blur out my pores, fine line, and wrinkles so the makeup can sit more long-wearing and smooth. The foundation I'm wearing is CC Cream by IT Cosmetics that provide full coverage, beautiful texture, and very skin-like without being too heavy on the skin or gives greasy finish. It has SPF 50 which is great as a sun protection. This is my all-time favorite as it doesn't irritate my skin and causing breakout. I apply it with my favorite brush from Real Technique to even it out. I'm using a concealer from the same brand IT Cosmetics to cover my dark circle that gives a full coverage, waterproof, crease-free, and long-wearing finish. I applied this product with the same brush to buff it out. As soon as applying under eye concealer, I'm using a setting powder by Makeup Forever to set the under eye area to prevent from creasing. The product comes with a mesh on top that prevent from overspilling. Now moving on to the eye makeup. I use dark brown brow pencil by Holika Holika to fill in the gap of my rather thick eyebrows. As I have very oily skin to begin with, I'd like to prep my eyelid with primer beforehand to make sure the product doesn't smudge and sit well all day long. As for the eyeshadow, I'm using a Korean makeup eyeshadow from Korinko palette of 6 different colors. It has a warm shade of peach and coral as well as shimmer and glitter which in my opinion is suitable for daily and party look. I take the shade in number 2 as the base and apply it on the eyelid. A little bit over the crease and also apply it onto the lower lash line. Then take the darker shade in number 5 and apply it onto the inner and outer corner of the lid and then also apply a little bit onto the inner and outer corner of the lash line and then blend it using a fluffy brush. Then take the darkest shade in number 6 and apply it onto the outer corner of the lid as close as possible to the upper lash line and brush it carefully towards the center part and blend it using a fluffy brush to make the eye makeup look more dramatic you can add shimmer or glitter on top to brighten it up so i take the glitter shade in number four and apply it onto the center of the eyelid and take the shimmer shade in number one and apply it onto the lower lash line to brighten up the eyes and also apply it in the inner corner of the eyes. To create a winged line, I prefer to use waterproof gel liner by Bobbi Brown and a tapered head firm bristle brush to create a smoother fine line. 
For me, it's easier to control the thickness and the sharpness of the line by using this than a liquid eyeliner. Then followed by apply smudge proof and waterproof liquid tattoo eyeliner by Kat Von D onto the upper lash line. Then I curl my lashes before putting on a mascara. The mascara that I use is by Tarte, which gives a waterproof, smudge-proof, and long-wearing finish. Moving on to the contouring, I'm using Winter Wonder Clam Looks Eye Palette from Tarte. The shade is also perfect for contouring and highlighting the face with. The part of my face that I usually contour is the side of my nose by drawing the line on the side of nose bridge between the eyes. And on the side of the nose tip. And connecting the two lines together by blending them smoothly with outward strokes. You need to blend them until the harsh line disappears. Then the next part to contour is underneath my cheekbones and under my jawline and blend them smoothly until the harsh line disappears. Then using the same palette in this shade to highlight the bridge and the tip of my nose as well as my cupid bow. As for the blush, I'm using the one from Roman. This is a Korean makeup product in the shade of Tamarind, which gives a little bit of a peachy orange shade. And using my Real Technique blush brush to apply it on my cheeks closer to the cheekbones to give a lifting effect. For the highlighter, I'm using the same palette by Tarte in this shade and apply it on the cheekbones and brow bones. As for the lips, I'm wearing Crush Lip Color by Bobbi Brown in the shade of Blondie Pink that gives a satin matte finish. I'd like to combine the color with other lipstick to make the shade a bit more complement with the eye makeup look. So I combine it with MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade of World to make the shade look deeper. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what to do with my hair as it's too short for a fancy hair look. Should I tie it up? and make a bun but it's a little bit too short for that so give me a couple of minutes and I'll come back soon so here is my final look I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it useful if you guys like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching I'll see you in my next video